Lincoln's home form has faltered recently, while visitors Hartlepool have scored 12 goals in four games. This league, anybody's capable of beating anybody else, and but um, well, they'll be fired up for this this evening. You know, simply being you know, we're on a decent run at the moment in time, so we're, we're the team to be beaten at the moment. Should I mention the curse of manager of the month? Well, people keep telling us we're cursed. Others saying it's a, it's a fallacy. So uh, we'll see at the end of the game. But on a night when Lincoln tempted local university students with cheap tickets, would the Imps pass their latest exam? Well, it should have been two one inside twenty minutes. Hartlepool's Joel Porter sliced horribly wide. Lincoln set up Mark Stallard, but the other number nine also failed to hit the target. Then Porter, unbelievably, missed from, well, six inches out. For a masterclass in finishing, enter Lincoln's Jamie Forrester. He latched on to Stallard's through ball and probably hasn't struck a better goal at his previous ten clubs. The lead should have been doubled, but Lee Frecklington couldn't repeat Forrester's technique. Forrester, a real imp all night, thought he'd earned a penalty in the second half. Referee Pat Miller wasn't convinced. Matty Robson was Hartlepool's most consistent threat. This run and effort was close. Hopes of a revival ended minutes later, when poor marking left Jeff Hughes all alone time and space for him to stroke in his first goal of the season. Hartlepool weren't done and Alan Marriott produced two fine blocks. First to deny Robson, then to keep out Gary Little. And talking of misses, how did that ball stay out of the Hartlepool net? Still, it didn't spoil Forrester's night.